everyone. I am a freshman student of Partido State University College of Education and I'm glad to be given this opportunity to share with you the important concept of gender and peace education. But now let us first define what does gender and sex means because until now we still get confused and use these two terms interchangeably. Biologically speaking, sex is given on the presence of human genitalia. So, it's easy for us to identify if the person is a male or female. While gender would refer to the way on how a male or female should behave depending on the expectations of the society. And this is the very crucial point here. Because as we look to the traditional approach, we are really convinced that gender is binary, which means that there are only two sexes in this world, the male and female. However, there were lots of people who believe that gender is non-binary and that there is more to explore about gender than to box it on the concept of being a male or female. And it is really quite confusing, my dear friends, because for all we know, there were many people whom we called members of the LGBT community. And maybe one of you who are listening to me right now are one of them. But the point I want to tell you right now is that why do you make it so difficult for yourself to be triggered by the sex or gender of one another when you can simply accept and respect each other's differences? This is the reality, my dear friends. As the saying goes, there is no person who were born ugly. We are just living in a judgmental society. Because society's expectation for you and me are very high in standard. Seems like, yes, you have your choice, but you have no opportunity or chance to go for it. And that is why some, or let's say most of us, are experiencing gender inequality. And it is not only present to male and female. As we look to others' perspectives, LGBT community as gender to be considered also experience gender inequality as well. Since then, gender inequality were seen as a very challenging situation. There is inequality in accessing to the rights for education, inequality in participation of women and men in politics and governance, inequality in achieving decent work and employment for all, freedom of religion, and even inequality in family structure. And all of this, we're just promoting for more gender-based violence, discrimination, prejudice, and even war. So do you think there will be more peace in the future? What kind of peace do you expect and hope for when right now you are one of those contributing for more war? My dear friends, I think all of us are longing for peace seeking for a constant and better change. But that change will only happen to those who are willing to have it. Change is not what you want. Peace is not something you hope for, but it is what you must do. So now try to ask yourself, whatever you do, I am doing this for what? Is it to contribute for peace? Or for more war. A bright tip for you, my friend. Learn to realize the peace within you. Learn to respect and accept the rich diversities around you. And only by this, you are not only seeking for peace, but you are creating peace along the way you go through. But think of it. The world is getting more and more in chaos and trouble. There will be no more peace in here. But remember, there is peace in Christ. God bless us all.